The truck-mounted, articulating knuckle boom crane is the most versatile piece of lifting equipment in any fleet. They're used to handle, deliver, and pick up a variety of loads, including steel road plate, shoring, trench boxes, boats, vehicles, logs, iron, K-rail, and much more. Before we delve any further into the operation and safety considerations associated with this equipment, we must make it clear that safety is of utmost priority when working with a crane. Poorly trained operators have been at the root of far too many crane accidents industry-wide. As a crane operator, you are responsible for reading and understanding the manuals for the knuckle boom crane, as well as the trucks and trailers used for carrying the crane and delivery of material. The operating manual is your guide and most important source of information for your particular type of manufacturer of crane. Be sure to take the time necessary to become thoroughly familiar with all the safety features of your crane, as well as the load charts located in the manual and on the crane itself. If you have any questions, be sure to discuss them with your supervisor. In addition to being a driver, you must also be a skilled crane operator, and depending upon the lift capability of the crane, you may be covered under the OSHA regulations relating to crane operation. OSHA requires all operators of mobile cranes to be certified. The only exceptions may be operators of mobile cranes with a maximum boom length of less than 25 feet or a maximum rated load capacity of less than 15,000 pounds. Be sure of the certified load capacity of your crane and take care to only operate within the safe limits and only after being fully trained and authorized. Let's face it, flexibility and customer service is the bread and butter of any company. Safe and efficient operation of the crane has additional application as this equates to increased efficiency and minimal downtime. You represent your company, so come to work dressed as a representative of your firm. You must wear all required safety equipment when using the equipment. This includes clean, high-visibility orange or yellow-green reflectorized vests, jackets, and or high-visibility pants to ensure your safety for night projects. A clean hard hat that is worn properly. Hard hats should never be worn backwards. Gloves, hearing and eye protection, and, of course, safety footwear. Only qualified and authorized employees should be allowed to operate the truck and crane systems. Before starting the day, a walk-around inspection must be conducted to ensure that the truck and crane are in optimal working condition. Inspections are important as they provide a means of early detection of potential hazards or conditions that could contribute to an accident. As a commercial driver, you may be required to perform certain safety and maintenance checks to ensure that the truck is safe to take on the road. Be sure to complete the required DOT paperwork for commercial drivers as well as the daily driving log. In addition, you are responsible to conduct a safety check of the truck-mounted crane to ensure that it's operating safely. Begin your inspection by conducting a visual check for any visible damage to the body. You don't want to be blamed for damage caused by someone else. Look carefully for any fluid leaks. Check for any flat or low tires. Check the tires by striking each with a bar to ensure that they're inflated. It's necessary to thump each tire as one could easily be low but still be held up by the other dual wheel. Check the condition of the mud flaps as well. Check all warning labels on the truck and crane to ensure that they are legible. Look to verify that the DOT required side and rear reflectorized tape is in good condition. Be sure that the bed has been swept to prevent stones and debris from bouncing into traffic. Check the condition and operation of all lights and mirrors. Ensure that the backup alarm is operating properly and has a sufficient audible level to warn people when backing. Check that any equipment carried under or on the truck or trailer bed is secure and will not come free while driving. Inspect for the condition of lifting straps, chains, and binders. If the chain appears worn, such as flat spots, cracks, or other damage, be sure to report this to your supervisor. If the lifting strap has any cuts or damage and or any red indicator thread is visible, report this to your supervisor as the strap must be taken out of service as it is no longer safe to use. Be sure that the steps and handrails to the cab are in good condition to prevent slips and falls. Once the exterior inspection has been addressed, carefully open the truck hood and begin checking vital engine fluids such as engine oil, transmission fluid and coolant. Check the condition of any belts and hoses looking for wear, bulges and or soft areas. While the hood is open, carefully look for any leaks or other indicators that might indicate a problem. Check the truck cab and ensure that all safety equipment is in place and the cab is free of any items that might cause distraction or get underfoot while driving. Next, start the engine 
and observe the air brake system and ensure that the system properly charges and reaches and maintains pressure. Check all other gauges to verify that all systems are within operating ranges. Check that mirrors are properly adjusted and windows are clean. Ensure that the power takeoff system is operating properly. Take a look at your fire extinguisher to ensure that it's fully charged. This is also a good time to check the reflectorized triangle, flares, and first aid kit as well. The safe operation of lifting equipment cannot be ensured without regular safety inspections and preventive maintenance programs. A thorough inspection program can forecast maintenance needs or potential equipment failures or malfunctions. By the way, be sure that only factory authorized personnel perform crane service and repair. Carefully check your crane for damage or anything else that can affect the operation and safety of the equipment. Look for leaks from any hose, fitting, valve, or cylinders. Report any exposed, abraded, or visible wire hose braid to your supervisor. Look at the steel structure for any visible cracks or damage. Check the mounting hardware tying the equipment to the truck bed. Ensure that the oil tank has the correct amount of hydraulic oil in order to operate properly. Check that all levers and remote control systems are labeled and operating properly. Take the time to operate the crane to ensure that all components are working properly. Also run the boom in and out a few times to ensure that all systems are operating properly and fluids get moved throughout the system. Be sure that all warning and other instructional labels are legible. If worn, report this to your supervisor for replacement. A quick note about hazard labels. An exclamation mark within a triangle means attention. Be extra alert. There may be a hazard that requires your utmost attention. Carefully follow the warning label to avoid injury. Be sure that you understand signal or warning words such as danger. This word identifies a hazard or unsafe practice that will result in severe personal injury or death. Warning. This word identifies a hazard or unsafe practice that could result in severe personal injury or death. Caution. Identifies a hazard or unsafe practice that could result in personal injury or property damage and notice. Identifies important installation, operation, or maintenance information that applies to the equipment. You've seen the news stories about crane accidents. Let's be clear. Cranes can be dangerous. Improperly trained operators or operators working outside the safe limitations of their equipment have caused many an accident and far too many fatalities. A hydraulic telescoping mobile crane in the hands of a safe and skilled operator can easily handle a wide variety of tasks. However, untrained or careless operators can cause property damage, serious injury, and or deaths. Make no mistake about it, even if you've operated a crane for another employer, you must be trained and authorized by your current employer in order to operate their equipment. Remember, you are responsible for reading and strictly following the manual for the crane and any other ancillary equipment. Before climbing onto equipment, check steps, walking, and working surfaces to ensure they're clear of oil, grease, fuel, mud, and debris. Face the steps when climbing onto the equipment. Always use the three-point system. One foot and two hands, or one hand and two feet when entering and exiting. Also, be very careful when stepping off the equipment or from truck or trailer beds in order to prevent a fall or a sprained ankle. The material that can be lifted can range from a couple of hundred pounds to 15,000 pounds or more. Therefore, extreme care and a clear understanding of the crane's abilities must be considered in order to operate in a safe manner. Never use the crane boom or outriggers as a jack to lift the truck, and never use the boom to push heavy loads as this can cause damage to the hydraulic system. And above all, never use the crane for any task not approved by the manufacturer and or your employer. When securing loads, be very careful to bind the load with adequate chains and binders. By the way, chains and binders have a nasty reputation of fracturing or even amputating fingers. Use extra care when binding loads and keep hands and fingers away from pinch points. When arriving on site, check for a safe location to leave the load. You must be careful to keep pedestrians and workers away from the area, so double check and cone off a safety zone around the drop area. The driver or operator in charge must have a clear understanding of the work to be performed and consider all potential dangers at the job site. Prior to lifting, be sure to refer to the load chart and ensure that you know the weight of the material you intend to lift. Also, check for obstructions that could get in the way. Far too many crane operators have been killed when their equipment came too close or made contact with overhead electrical wires. Be absolutely sure that you never allow your crane to come close to any overhead wires and adhere to the minimum limits of approach at all times. 
Also, be sure to keep all other employees away from the equipment, as they also can be electrocuted should the crane make contact with a live line. Many cranes are equipped with both crane-mounted and remote interface controls. Using the remote system can provide an additional level of safety as you can work well away from the crane and truck providing better visibility. You must be checked out and authorized to operate a crane only after you've demonstrated a high degree of competency. Use the controls to slowly and carefully lift the load and set it down in a safe location. The key is not speed, but rather doing the job safely. If you can't do it safely, don't do it. Adopt that as your personal safety policy. Check that the ground is firm and level. If the ground is soft or uneven, take measures to provide additional support to the outrigger legs by using the supplemental pads or cribbing to distribute the load. Be sure no one is in the area when you extend and drop the outriggers. Prior to attempting a lift, be sure to confirm the load weight with the rigging and load chart. If needed, assign a signal person using accepted crane hand signals for the lift. A safety plan should be communicated to all personnel involved in the lift, and of course, never stand under an overhead load for any reason. Upon concluding the drop, return the boom to its normal resting location, retract the outriggers, and secure them in place before leaving. Check the area for anything that may have been left unsecured and prepare to leave the location. Working with knuckle boom cranes can be done safely. Accidents can be avoided by careful job planning and training. Thank you.